And welcome back to Life on Rehearsal of Madonna. Since it was Madonna Week here in Montreal, I'm Matt Del Vecchio. You know, in a recent op-ed in the Gazette, Westmount Mayor Christina Smith spoke about her family's experience with CHSLD VG Mont-Royal and the importance of supporting public sector workers, specifically teachers and healthcare workers. Mayor Smith also dives into her reality as someone part of the sandwich generation we've been talking about all day on the show today, balancing her career, children, and caregiver role. Mayor Smith, welcome to Life Unrehearsed. Hi, Matt. Thanks for having me. Well, thank you. Um, you were wearing a lot of hats. I think you were wearing mom hat today and with the yeah. kids. And, I, was. Uh, I was. Well, good for you, and, and thank you for taking a little time out of your very, very uh, busy sandwich generation schedule. And, you know, um, the pandemic was extremely difficult with long-term care homes. We all heard mm-hmm. about that on the news and still a challenge. But as a result, there's this tremendous fear of having to move a loved one into a CHSLD, a real stigma that still exists today Uh, you know I experience these emotions with families almost on a daily basis in my world it can be gut-wrenching just thinking about it well you just went through this process with your dad as he recently transitioned into CHSLD VG Mont Royal and how was that experience for you well I guess it was you know as much as you I I thought I could prepare for this type of thing you're never really as you can't really prepare for it until you're fully in it and uh, my my dad had a pretty terrible fall in the springtime, and you know he's he's 94 now, and he he went from being very autonomous to essentially needing round the clock care. And the advice that had been given to me, working with a, a social worker from the Lakeshore General Hospital, was that this would be the best, this was the right spot for him. And I really I trusted her judgment, um, or that he would have to go into a CSO so they home because they would have the care that he needed and so you know that that process which i'm sure you've talked to your viewers that i know you've talked to your viewers about it can can be long and daunting and um i just i felt incredibly supported by the social workers in the hospital the nurses the healthcare workers that kind of guided us through that system and then all of a sudden there was a spot at vg Montreal. all i ever knew about that i'd never set foot in that place before my dad moved in there um, was what I had read in the newspapers during COVID, like many of you. And it was it was one that was really highlighted during COVID. And I guess what just, I was so taken aback by the amazing care that he got, like from the get-go, the welcome sign. I mean, when we, when <laughs> my dad has got quite a funny personality. So when we first, you know, wheeled into this home, there was a huge welcome sign that said, welcome, Mr. James Smith to um, Vichy Montréal. And he said, well, finally, the respect I deserve. <laughs> and uh, like from that moment forward, they were incredibly, they're kind, they're empathetic, they work really hard. And, and listen, my, my father's quite funny and, and sort of a gentle, a, gentle, a gentle guy, but I understand that not all cases are, are mm-hmm. easy. Mm-hmm. And I just, I was taken aback at how devoted they were. And I guess it was just, such a surprise from you know some of the stuff that we read about these mm-hmm. care homes and mm-hmm. they're not perfect I'm sure but I just really wanted to highlight my experience and that it was it, it wasn't all bad and that they really were you know that the activities all of it the doctors the nurses um it, it has been a positive experience well, for us. I, I'm glad you're mentioning uh, that as well because, look, there's still a lot of work to do, but there yeah. is still that stigma and uh, the atrocities and, and the difficulties that in the middle of the pandemic that clearly uh, put a spotlight on our long-term care system that has a lot of work to do. But there has been tremendous progress. Are we there yet? No, we still have a little ways to go. Waiting lists are still very long, but it's very re- uh, refreshing uh, to hear your story, and there are many stories like that as well. And I want... Um, if I could, uh, Mayor Smith, to talk about your role uh, wearing many hats, and I think you are very, you know, typical of of Sandwich Generation. Your your you know add on the mayor hat, of course, but you've got your mm-hmm. children and you've got the, a role as a caregiver uh, as well. Can you just go over how you're juggling all this and how you're managing? Yeah, I mean, it's certainly it is it is a challenging time, right, for people of and I. This this situation is by no means unique to me. Um, but it's, it's by, with, you know, three kids and a very busy career or a very busy job as mayor of Westmount, but as well, when your parents go from being, you know, almost fully autonomous to needing just 
an intense amount of care, which of course you want to give them. You want them to be comfortable and safe and live in dignity. Um, but that, that shift is, is, it can be very, very intense. And, um, you know, this, it was all happening at the same time as a blue collar strike in our city. Um, so it was like, there was a lot going on. There's still obviously a lot going on. And I guess that's another reason why I feel such gratitude to the caregivers is that, and, you know, one of the nurses said to me, uh, sort of a couple weeks into it said to me, like, you, you don't feel you like I was, you know, I was going every day and I was trying to make sure that everything was, you know, perfect and comfortable. And she's like, give yourself a break. We've got it. Like, if you don't make it today, it's okay. It's like, obviously my dad would want to see me, but so it's, it's also being able to trust others to be the caregiver, which I think is also really important. Listening to Life Unrehearsed, Matt Del Vecchio here. I'm talking with the mayor of Westmount, Christina Smith, about supporting the public service workers and her own family story. And I'm so happy you talked about the social workers. Let's face it, many, once you're in the system, the people working are are dedicated by and large. They care, they're empathetic, they're compassionate. We just, a bigger picture with the healthcare system, we have a lot of work to do, but I'm, I'm happy you gave a shout out to the social worker that uh, guided you and advised you because we do have to rely on them. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, if you could just support, your op-ed in the Gazette was excellent, by the way, and I'm, I'm glad you took the time. Oh, thank it, you. It made it out there and you're getting a little bit of media coverage, rightly so. So how about uh, your thoughts about supporting and investing our teachers and healthcare workers even more well i think it's also you know very timely we saw strikes across the province that had huge impact on on families people everywhere and it's you know we've just come out of covid which was not easy either we've we've experienced COVID. and it was once again like our most vulnerable and kids that were going to be most impacted by this but it's like clearly they were trying to say something that the system is not working and it's not because of it's not because of the healthcare workers, right? So it's like you can go into an ER that is completely overloaded. Mm -hmm. It's not the doctor's fault. It's not the nurse's fault. It's that the, the system needs um, needs to be changed. So it's um, I, I just thought it was important also to highlight that and that um, we've got to we got to take care of the people that take care of us as a society. Yeah, and I think you know, it was a little different with these strikes. Uh, you know, many people don't like strikes, and it's disruptive and so on. But there was a lot of support there from was the huge public. Huge empathy for them. I mean, I lived through a different kind of strike this summer, which was, you know, people get irritated and frustrated, or you know, that lose their patience fairly quickly. I didn't sense that at all with with these strikes. Even you know, I have a lot of friends who were very impacted by the teacher strike that went on a long time, uh, and. I think there was this general like understanding and, and mm. thinking uh, that they were on the on the side of the workers for sure. Yeah. It was nice to see really, and I'm glad they got it settled. And uh, um, yeah, and we need to continue to support them. Well, I want to thank you for taking a little time, Mayor Smith, ahead of your busy schedule. Really appreciate your input. Oh, thanks so much. All right, that's Christina Smith, Mayor of Westmount. Next week on Life Unrehearsed, the iconic Dr. David Mulder will be joining me. He's going to be sharing some of his incredible stories as the Montreal Canadiens team physician for decades and a prominent doctor with the Montreal General Hospital. He has seen it all. And we're also going to be discussing skin care and its relationship with aging. And we're going to be talking to the publisher of a really interesting online magazine called Oldster, which focuses on navigating life transitions all while normalizing aging and destigmatizing it thank you very much for tuning into life on rehearse and as a reminder for all your inquiries or assistance with life transitions elder care planning and the senior living industry be my pleasure to help you can find out more if you look up lianas senior transition support that's lianas l-i-a-n-a-s senior transition support many thanks to Dimitra Trizzi Dimas and Dario De Felice you can listen to Life on a Hearse here on CJD 800 every Sunday at 4 p.m.